Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to tell you guys what badges I think you guys should add to players in NBA 2K22, my team. I get asked this question a lot. For this certain player, what are the best badges to add to him? What are the best badges player? What are the best badges to add to him? So basically, I'm just going to do a full breakdown, of, as you guys will see on the screen, of all the best badges in the game. And do I think they're a must add? Like, if you should add them to a card, you should add them to a card. They're usable, so they're like the medium. Not good. I wouldn't recommend adding them and then never, never add, which I'm going to say, like, you should never really add them to a card if you guys are new here i would really appreciate if you could subscribe down below i post two to three my team videos every single day and give some of the best and no money spent content tips and tricks on the platform so guys first badge we got on the list is gonna be acrobat now it's not a terrible bad a badge it's not like a never add and it's not a not good i think it's more of a I'm gonna go not good. I think it's not good. It's not a good one to add. I think ankle braces is the same thing as well. It can be used in some sort of sense, but it's nothing incredible. Um, we're gonna we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go. Let's pick. Let's go. Honestly, I think we should do a, do a good one. Must add is definitely limitless spot up. You definitely do want to add limitless spot up. So if you guys are wondering quickly, like, oh well, what this certain player might need this. This certain player might need this. Yes, obviously different players will need different stuff, and some players can't get limitless spot up, and some players can get limitless spot up. I'm just giving you guys a full breakdown of all of the good badges. Now, I don't have every single badge here in the game, but I made I made sure I got all of the good badges so you guys know like which, you know, and I might rank them in order of like what are the best badges in the game. It's just to help you guys. Um, ankle breaker, I mean, it's not good. Like a never add doesn't mean like you never should add it to, but like, you know, it, not good means it's like you could add it to them, but I wouldn't recommend it. Now, back down punisher, I mean, Unless you're on, unless it's, I just, I just don't think, I just don't think you really need to add back down Punisher. Now, next badge actually here is, is Balo. And I'm going to put Balo in should add. I do believe Balo is a really good badge. And if a card doesn't have it and you, and you're going to need to build a Balo with the card, it's definitely a badge you definitely could add or should add to a card. Now, I'm not going to put it in must add because I don't think you must need it on every single card, but I think it's, I think it's a badge that you could definitely use it. And same thing with Ball Stripper. I think it's a very, very good badge and it's a badge you should add. Should, should add. remember guys, you only get five slots so like there's gonna be better badges in ball stripper right but i'm saying if the card you know doesn't get that many good badges and you want to give him ball stripper then you definitely give him ball stripper i'm just saying like it's not a must must have card i think should had i don't think blinder is a must have must add either i think blinders is a should add though like if you can add blinders and you want to add blinders i think you should add it to him now box i think is not good either but if you really want to add box to somebody you could break starter never add break starter is just not not worth it at all brick wall honestly is usable um <clears throat> if you want to give a card like even even a guard you want to give him brick walls so like can set the two-man screens that's honestly not bad bullet passer is definitely a must add most cards i'd say every card needs bullet passer if you can get bullet passer i definitely would recommend that now catch and shoot it's kind of different because a lot of cards do come with catch and shoot so i'm gonna put should add because usually i don't find myself ever adding um catch and shoot but it definitely is a really good badge same thing with Chase on ours. Chase on ours is really, really good as well. You definitely could add that to a card, make them a lot better defensively. Now, the next two badges are both must add. Chef is a must badge, must add badge, and Clamps is the same thing. Also, another must add badge. Those are four of the best badges in the game. Clutch Shooter, never should add. I mean, who really cares about Clutch Shooter? Corner Specialist, I think is a should add. I don't think you need it 100%, like you need Limitless Spot Up, Bullet Passer, Chef, or Clamps, but it's one of these like, you know, good, good, solid badges. Deadeye, I think is a must add. Must add Deadeye, I, I agree with that because I think Deadeye is one of the best badges in the game. Defensive Leader, never need to add that. That badge is honestly useless. Dimer, I think Dimer is usable. I'm gonna put Dimer in the middle because you definitely could add Dimer to somebody and that could, you know, help you out a little bit. Dream Shake, never add. Um, fade ace never add um, those badges just aren't very good again if you guys want explanations you know maybe I could go into another video on that but right now I'm just letting you guys know these are the these are where I put them you can you can go to the end of the video and just pause and see like what are the best badges in the game you know it's just a breakdown I might explain that a little bit as well but fast switch I think is usable I think fast switch is usable um, it helps with layups and dunks under the rim like you know, scoring faster I think it's also not bad feels finisher I think is the same way I think feels finisher is a usable badge it's not it's it's better than not good it's not a never add but it's not as good as a sh should add um, a should add badge is gonna a should add um is glue hands glue hands is a badge that honestly it's stupid why it's in the game just to catch the ball you need a badge to catch the ball but it is a badge that you do need on a player if they don't have it they're not gonna be able to catch the ball as well which could hurt you um in an important situation grace under pressure is just a never add green machine is a should add um again 
you want to add the must ads before you add the should ads. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, but like, I'm just saying these are basically, if you, you don't have to really go off the ranking, just like these are the best badges in the game. These are the next tier of best badges. Then these are like the middle tier of badges and the lower tier badges and the worst tier of badges, right? That's, that's the way you could look at it. I just, I just named like must add. Like if you can, you must add these badges. You should maybe, you know, look to add these badges these are like the next best badges usable. I mean, they're not the greatest, but they're still like, you could still put them on a card and be fine. Not good as I wouldn't recommend it and never add is something I would never add to my players. Um, Hails for days is another badge. That's another you should probably add it to a card if you can. Hook Specialist is definitely a never add unless you want a post hook, but post hook's never really that good this year. Hot Zone Hunter, it's good. I think I'm gonna go should add, um, especially when we get later in the year and all cards have Hot Zone Hunter. That's definitely good. I think Hustler is a usable badge. I think it's like the mid tier badge. It's not something cr incredible, but I think it's something that's very, very solid. And you guys are starting to notice like Hyperdrive is gonna go to the should add. Um, there's a lot of these like, you know, you should add into a card. Like that's, that's probably the tier that has the most amount of, um, you know, badges in it just because like that's that's where all like the good solid badges are because there's a lot of good badges in the game and that's where like, you know, Intimidator is going to go. I don't think Intimidator is a must add badge. I don't think any of these badges in here are. Limitless Takeoff, that one's hard because I'm a go should add, but it honestly could be in must add. I think I'm gonna go should add for now. Um, Lob City Finisher, I would never really add that to a card. I'm gonna go never add. Lucky number seven is is usable. I think it's usable. Um, it's not the greatest badge in the world, but I think it definitely is usable. Menace is another should add badge. It is really, is that, am I saying it right? Should add badge, yeah, just sounds funny. Um, it, it's a very, very solid badge. I do like Menace a lot. Same thing as Miss Mouse Expert. Um, Again, it's a badge that only, you know, you should only put on guards, but definitely is a very, very good badge. Needle Threader is not good. It's not never, like you can, you can use it, you know, but I would, I would never really recommend it. Same thing with Off Ball Pest. I mean, it's not good, but I mean, you could still use it if you want. Uh, Pick Dodger, I think is, I think it's the should add as well. Again, it's just another really, really solid badge. So is Slowly Finish, or not Slowly Finisher. So is Pogo Stick. Again, another really good badge. Now, Posterizer, I am going to put a must add. I think Posterizer is a must add badge. I think it's still one of the best badges in the game. Um, I think it, you know, I think honestly it is a must add badge if you can. Post Lockdown, I'm going to put not good because I might add it to a player, but I don't recommend it. Post Playmaker, same thing. Um, you know, it could be on a card, but nah, I wouldn't really recommend it. Pro Touch. Definitely never add, um, just never would add that to a card. Put that box, name the same thing, just not a good badge. If you guys disagree with anything, you can let me know down, down, low, down below in the comments. I want to hear your guys' opinions. These are just my opinions so far, right? Again, best badges in the game. You know, the next tier best badges, like these are all like really, really, like if you add these two cards, like I'm not going to be like, you know, I'm going to be like, damn, that's a good choice. Usable, I'm going to be like, okay, that's like a, you know, fair enough. Not good, I'm going to be like, eh, if you really want to. And then never add is just like, I mean, if you add that to a card, I don't know, but um, quick chain, definitely a must add badge. This badge is honestly one of the best badges in the game because it helps you like with your drill moves, makes them a lot faster. Um, if you guys don't know any of these descriptions, I mean, you probably should know, um, at least from what I'm saying as well. If you don't know these badges, then maybe you should go look at 2KDB or maybe go look at the game and see what they actually say they do because I already know what every single badge does. So I'm just going off that. Maybe I'm not explaining what they do, but I, it's because I already know what they do. Quick first step. Um, Sorry, that is a must add badge. That is probably the best badge. Mm, not best badge in the game, but that's one of the best badges in the game. It just, you know, it's faster, quick first step. Um, most people that play 2K know what all these badges mean. Rim Protector, or sorry, not Rim Protector, Rebound Chaser. Again, it, it depends. If it's a big man, it's a must add badge. But if it's a guard, it doesn't really matter. But I think I think it's a must add badge. I think also Rim Protector is another must add badge. Rim Protector, all these are all like insanely good badges. We have a lot of good badges this year. Um, Rise Up, definitely not good. And like I said, I think these are not all the badges in the game, but I, I made sure if, it, if you don't see a badge, you're like, hmm, where's that badge? I either forgot it or it's like a never add or not good. I went through it. I made sure all the best badges in the game were on this list. Now I may have forgot one or two. So my apologies if I do but I'm pretty sure I got most of them. You know, set shooters, it's, it's not a good one, but I mean, hey, if you want to put on somebody, I won't complain, still be off ball. It's another one, it's like, eh, it's not good, but I mean, if you add it to them. A silly finisher is definitely usable. Um, you could definitely use silly finisher, and that's not bad. Sniper is a must add badge, probably the best shooting badge in the game, besides like limit the spot up and maybe chef. Um, really, really good badge there. Space creator, I think is usable. I wouldn't add it to a card, but you definitely could. Special delivery, just don't add that to a card. Stop and go, I think, is another usable one. Um, I just don't think it's on this tier. I think it's the tier below. Stop and pop, I think, is on that same tier. Um, these three are like the three dribbling badges. Tight handles, I think, is on. The, they're all in the same tier. Like, they're none of them are like, 
you know, should add badges, but if you want to add them to, you can. Triple that juke, never add that to a card. That's probably the worst badge in the game. Unpluckable, that, that's usable, honestly. You, um, unpluckable is honestly usable. Unstrippable, I think is actually a pretty good badge. I think you should, I think a card could use unstrippable a lot of times. And worm, it's not good, but if you want to add to a card, you definitely could as well. So guys, that is my badge tier list of the best badges in the game because I get a, I get this question all the time of what are the best badges in the game? What badges should I add to a card? These, if you want to pause the screen, I'll try to get all of them in a frame. Um, and at least all the important ones you guys can see all the usable to must ads you don't really care if it's not good you probably don't want to add it to a card um, but yeah if you want to take like a picture of this you want a screenshot if you want to just pause the screen and go like look or something or just come back to this video you can you know remember the time stamp and you know look at the screen right these are my best badges in the game right so we got limitless spot up bullet passer chef clamps dead eye Post riser, quick chain, quick first step, rebound chaser, rim protector, sniper, as I think the best badges in the game. And then some other notable ones in should add are like chase on artist, catch and shoot, corner specialist, green machine, hails for days, um, menace, mismatch expert, intimidator, pick dodger, poker stick. All the other ones are good as well. Then some usable ones like slowly finisher, hustler, you know, brick wall, tight handles stop and go and then not good i just wouldn't really add these badges i'm not really going to go over them um so yeah i would recommend you, you know doing anything from usable to must add obviously the must add ones are going to be way more expensive so you got to take that into account so maybe if these are too expensive you can look at adding some of these ones to your cards as well um i might make it not a series but i might like when the new cards come out i might take like some of the cards like the I don't know, I might do like a pro instead of doing like just going over the promo cards and looking at their stats and badges, what I might do is I might do a video going over what badges to add to all the cards. Um, if you want to, if you want to see that, se not series, but if you want to see me do that, um, I might ask some questions on Twitter and stuff like that. But, um, what I might do is when like, let's say the promo comes out, right. And then all the, every single card will go over and I'll tell you guys what are the five badges I would add to those cards. I think that could be helpful as well, but definitely take this into account of what are the best badges in the game. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.